Greetings, junior solar sprint racers. As you already know, TSA has extended the invitation to compete virtually during this 2021 season. This overview video will give you and your teammates some visual assistance in creating your own video submissions for the TSA national event judges. Competing this year will be easy. Remember to always reference the TSA rules and regulations document for the junior solar sprint event as this overview is solely for visual assistance in creating your video submissions. Here are some requirements for your video. An introduction must be included in the video. Introduce your chapter, the conference year, and the title of the competitive event. No identifying information other than the chapter ID may be used. Demonstrate that the race lane is 60 centimeters wide by 20 meters long and that the track is a hard, flat surface such as a tennis court or a smooth surface running track. Demonstrate that the solar-powered car and panel are within the specifications outlined in the virtual guide. Timing the race must be accomplished as follows. At race time, each car will be placed so its most forward part is set even with the starting line and all of its wheels are in contact with the ground. Each solar car's panel will be covered completely by an opaque sheet that does not touch the solar panel. The opaque sheet will be removed at the start of the race, allowing the vehicle to collect solar power and start driving. Timer or stopwatch must be displayed in the lower right corner of the video during the race. The timer must be visible on screen and may not be incorporated as a separate screencast. Race timing must stop when the solar vehicle crosses the finish line. Your video needs to show the start of the watch, the start of the race, and clearly show the vehicle crossing the finish line. Your video should include the fastest of two time trials. Teams will record their finish times in the online submission form. Make sure not to modify the video of your time trials in any way. If it is determined that a team's video is modified in any way, that team will be disqualified. All video footage, graphics, special effects, and audio clips must be originally created and filmed by the participants. Here is how to submit your race video. Participants will submit a multi-page PDF of the documentation portfolio and a hyperlink of the video demonstration to the designated submission file. Participants may choose any video hosting site such as an unlisted YouTube URL of the video, as long as the video is located online and accessible for evaluation. If a URL link is provided, the URL must point directly to the participant's entry. Entries that require software download or request that access be granted will not be judged. Entries received or changes made to submitted entries after the deadline will not be judged. Email verification of each team's entry will be made by June 10th. We hope this video was informative and gave you some good ideas for your own racing setup. If you have any questions, please reach out to your advisor, state official, or CRC. Good luck this season.